Welcome to the CalGrant Regional Training video. In this short training video, we are going to discuss how to customize your roster in more detail. Why should you customize your roster? Customizing your CalGrant roster allows users to filter results and view specific student cohorts based on award status. It is particularly helpful to assist with awarding and packaging. For example, schools can customize a roster to display just foster youth, students with dependents, or flagged records requiring verification of education level or transfer entitlement eligibility. Another use is to identify DREAM Act applicants so you can reach out to this cohort to collect the tuition exemption waiver or the affidavit as part of the AB 540 requirements. Yet another great use of this tool is to customize your roster to view unpaid competitive awards prior to the competitive recycle to confirm that your students have been paid before the commission withdraws and recycles the awards. There are multiple uses. We encourage WebGrants users to play around with and become familiar with all the tools you have access to. As you can see from the list, rosters can be customized to identify groups such as newly awarded students, any students with holds or flags, students with dependents, foster youth, TANF eligible students, or California DREAM Act students. Customizing rosters can be helpful to identify unpaid competitive awardees prior to the competitive recycle. On this slide, you can see a sample of a roster with all of the identifiers in the different fields. In recent years, the students with dependents, SWD, Foster Youth, FY, and now the Community College Entitlement Award, also known as E3 identifiers, were recently added. To begin customizing your roster, click Roster slash Reconciliation under the CalGrant section on the home page. Then click Customize Roster from the pop-up menu. All customized rosters that you create begin with the CSAC standard roster. Click on that notepad pencil icon under the Actions column header. Change the name of the roster title to describe the type of roster you'll be creating. You can create multiple customized rosters to identify different cohorts of students. For example, education level verification required unpaid competitive students, or California DREAM Act applicants, or foster youth, or students with dependents, and much more. Next, ensure that you select the No radio button to indicate that this will not be your preferred roster. You do not want to overwrite your standard roster because it lists all CalGrant awardees at your school. These are optional filters and sorting elements. You can leave these blank if you wish. It's the next section, which we'll see on the next slide, where users can filter out all students to hone in and select specific records, such as students who are flagged for EL or transfer entitlement verification. So let's take a look. As we mentioned on the previous slide, this section allows you to select the type of records you wish to display. You may choose to display those who are recipients of CalGrant A, B, or C awards listed adjacent to program code, for example. Please note the addition of E3 in the cycle ID. Other applicable uses of roster customization could be the E1 or E2 on hold status for students who have the high school graduation verification flag or the transfer entitlement verification flag, which appears on records of students who have yet to self-certify the G8 or G6 forms via the student portal on web grants for students. Or it could be for colleges who have high school transcripts or diplomas and can confirm high school graduation and certify on behalf of the students to remove this hold. There's also E3 Verified, the Dream App flag. Use this option as an outreach tool to ensure that all of your California Dream Act applicants have submitted their non-resident tuition exemption affidavit form. There's also the Foster Youth flag, which identifies students who are in foster care at age 13 or older. This can be used to refer to foster youth to additional services such as priority registration, etc. Student with dependents identify students who indicated on their FAFSA or the CADA that they have a dependent and are providing at least 50% support. We will show you how to customize two popular rosters, one that displays all students whose EL verification is required and the other, which shows how to identify unpaid competitive awards for use prior to the competitive recycle. 
To create an EL verification roster, we will select both verification required boxes, the not paid verification required, as well as the paid verification required next to EL status. Create a customized roster prior to the competitive recycle to identify competitive awardees who have not received a payment but may still be eligible. Under Cycle ID, select C1 and C2, and under Payment Status, select No. Note that not all student records on the customized roster will be your target cohort, so you will simply ignore those records that do not pertain to your query. For example, any transaction reported with a $0 payment for a competitive award will also appear on this customized roster. That is, any students with NS, NP, and the O codes reported with a $0 payment amount not just your students who were overlooked. Finally, make sure that you select the Save Roster Format at the bottom of the screen to save your new custom roster. Once saved, you will be able to access your custom roster for future use, in this case, the Unpaid Competitive Awardees roster. Any other custom rosters that you create can always be deleted if needed. This is a great tool to help you better administer Cal Grants for the students who rely on them. Here are a few best practices. Create customized rosters to filter students that might need to turn in additional verification. For example, you can select the Dream App flag to follow up with students that still need to submit an AB 540 affidavit, or you can select E2 on hold status to follow up with students that still need to submit the G6 transfer entitlement form. Additionally, you can customize rosters to identify foster youth students, students with dependents, or unpaid competitive students. High school counselors, administrators, and financial aid administrators should contact the school support team or the IT service desk at the commission if they need further assistance. Students and their parents should contact student support if they need further assistance.